Hi everyone, welcome to another video of World of Engineering. Today I'm going to do the unboxing of uh, Hayaki um, Data Logger, and uh, which I purchased with some CTs and uh, voltage uh, clamps. Um, so let's see what's in the box. So what I ordered was a, it's a M. The model number is MR double eight. 80-20 recorder which has a four channel for um, totally uh, isolated channels uh, and a few of CDs in the memory card okay so this is the CT uh, and uh, obviously it's a uh, AC and DC one. That purposely I purchased that because I was going to do uh, some measurement on DC uh, current. And as you can see, it's Japanese. Good stuff. Let's open this. Mm -hmm. so it comes with the CT itself. Um, as you can see. It's rated 200 amp, but uh, uh, the peak rating of this is 300 amp. It's quite small, which is good. That means you get a uh, pretty accurate result on um, some standard uh, wire and cable thicknesses. Thicknesses, and which is the bigger is the accuracy um, decreases. Uh, very high quality. Uh, um, cable, it's like a feels like silicon. It's very soft, and comes with this connector. It's not a BNC. Uh, it has three six uh, pins. It's male, and also so that one um, the CT. Zoom out a bit. CT feeds the signal into this sensor, um, the receiver. And that's where you put your uh, two AA batteries. Um, it's Japanese again. And you can set it to, obviously you can adjust it, zero the um, CT. And you can put on low and high um, range. And that's the range. This model is 96, 96, 92, therefore 96, 92, the lower range is 20 and higher range is 200 amp. Yeah, so by the look of it, it has a, it has a BNC um, mail, uh, output, so this Connector goes there. Obviously, it gets its power from this sensor, this adapter, and comes out of a BNC connector. So this is the CT. I ordered two of these. Comes with the battery, AA, all these uh, manuals, and these are the voltage um, clamps clamps we'll open them okay so it has um, CN uh, BNC connector and I think these are yet you can Take it off, four mil banana plug, and it's got these alligators. This is rated, I think, 600 volts. Uh, that's the model. Again, Japanese. These um, uh, Hayokis are pretty expensive. Uh, this, uh, the whole thing would cost six to seven grand. So I ordered four of these. Away. This 
some other CT. That's the PC card, or uh, it's a CF card. They're pretty um, expensive, um, but this is the obviously the Hayoki brand CF card. This costs around 300 bucks. One gig uh, CF card. More of these. So four of the voltage. And here we go. The beast is here. So, as I said, uh, IOQ MR88820 memory recorder. Open this up. Mm -hmm. So what we have comes with a USB cable. Uh, with the software Wave Viewer, there's another software. I think it's like a wave processor. You gotta pay for that. Um, wow! Look at this. Looks very rugged, um, and um, it's just small, as you can see. Nice screen. Uh, has a. Uh, Four inputs, analog inputs. On this side, what you have it's a um, mini USB. A USB you can just stick your uh, thumb drive or uh, memory USB in here, and um, I guess it has a certain capacity. I don't know, two to four gig, and store data in there. Or if not, you can use your C card here. the power button, DC input, and also it has a um, logic input as well. So the buttons feels really good. I mean the quality you can tell it's Japanese. Um, Um, these are the uh, maximum input voltage is rated, but you can uh, do measurements uh, two, three kV with this as long as you use appropriate uh, probes on that. Um, so what else it comes with? Oh, yeah. so obviously, it comes with a power cable. Uh, I'm gonna power this up uh, to see. Um, quality of the screen, but I'm not going to do any sort of testing. Probably I'll do another video, see, um, check the functionalities and waveforms. Okay, so the on button is here. That was very quick. Wow. And it's very high resolution. Uh, as you can see, the quality of the screen is really nice. Um, so this is state of art. I need to go, go through the manual, see how it works. But overall, um, it looks really good. The build quality, it is very rugged. Screen quality is amazing. Uh, it seems that it has a very um, nice user interface and very user friendly. You just you just gotta get used to it, like any other um, instrument. And um, that's about it. I'll do another video to go into details and how thing, uh, how the function, what are the functionalities. Thanks for watching.